So I catch the last sunlight over Kosovo, the sun is setting in the west, where the Albanians belong to, to America and to the west. Here is uh, the holy mountains of the Kosovo Albanians, Bresovica, and here the last sunset over this super highway. It's really amazing that they have done this um, unbelievable, amazing highway towards the south. We are now already past the ferry side, this is uh, Kacanik. And Kacanik, uh, this was really very difficult uh, to travel. Here is the road um, exit uh, towards the mountains. That's the second Kacanik basically here. You have then to go on to Bresovica or the second um, uh, transport way. That's very famous where all the Albanians had to run and there was a lot of old cars and there were hundreds and thousands of people chased over that mountains in uh, the spring of uh, 99. It was terrible what happened in terms of war crimes, rape, genocide. Here was the Serbs paramilitaries, the Serb state and also Russian militias who came here to rape and kill. What they did in the year 99 and also 98 against the Kosovo Albanians, uh, it was terrible war crimes. Uh, similar to what is happening now in Ukraine. And uh, that's exactly how they have behaved, uh, like in Mariupol, like in Rajak like in uh, now in Bucha, these are the places, uh, the massacres of uh, the Serbs in Kosovo, of the Russians in Ukraine. And um, yeah, that's how they do it. Yeah. We have to condemn that. Uh, I made the interview today in Al Jazeera Balkans about Milosevic being, uh, the Putin being the new Milosevic, and that's exactly how it is. I've shown you many of the memorial sites for the Rajak um, uh, genocide and uh, for many of the other places, I will go to more in the future and I want you to refer to that videos and uh, you'll see now every day anyhow what's happening in Ukraine. But uh, this will not stand, uh, they will not win. They have not won in Kosovo, Kosovo is now a free republic and they will not win in Ukraine. Uh, and we will build the shattered lives, we will rebuild uh, the infrastructure, we will rebuild everything and we will make it actually better and by being more united, we will build it in the European way. Like this highway is the best example. This is um, the reality now in 2022. They just uh, didn't have now road tolling. I was not winning that debate. And here you see some of the villages here in the shadow of the big mountain. And you see some of the most amazing bridges because that's the traditional border between uh, Albania, uh, between Kosovo and Macedonia, the Kachanik um, Gorge or Canyon. And this was of course an infrastructure feat of the first class. You will see now these beautiful uh, bridges and bypasses and uh, kind of semi-bridges and it's really amazing. Here it's uh, Selanik Solun, uh, 280 kilometers. And this is uh, almost all finished on highway, just the last 20 Actually, it's just 15 kilometers to Skopje are missing and they are going to be built as well, hopefully very soon. And here you see this extraordinary infrastructure achievement. It is uh, full of really amazing bridges and I'm really celebrating this infrastructure because it's first class. It is really very good. It was very difficult to build. It was the American infrastructure giant Bechtel which achieved this and I, to my best information they do that now in Macedonia as well. They will fix uh, the Kruevsky China corruption scandal of the unfinished highway and they will connect then also from Kostiva towards Ochrid and uh, then from Ochrid onwards to Struga towards hopefully also the Albanians will give it to Bechtel. I'm absolutely in favor to connect with the Elbasan highway that's what I've uh, shown you already on some other videos. And that would be the ring road then to be finished and also the Albanian highway in the mountains to be completely finished. And then you can basically drive here in a big circle towards Ochrid, Struga, Elbasan, Tirana, Dures and then south uh, to Milot and back to Brisbane. and that would be really wonderful. This will come, <laughs> I'm confident. It will take some time but uh, this is what American Albanian cooperation can achieve and also of course according to European standards and we are here in Europe in a future EU member country and then it will also go in Macedonia obviously is more developed in some aspects 
it is already NATO member and so it can be also in 2024 already and we need a two-phase enlargement. Macedonia, Montenegro, Albania can be very fast in the EU in 2024 and then um, we have Kosovo and Ukraine, Georgia, Bosnia, Serbia and uh, Moldova, the six countries to come in the European Union in uh, 2029. Here you see this bridge, I think it's really fantastic and it's a big achievement. This was very, very difficult infrastructure uh, to be completed and it is amazing. It's a bit steep here, it goes now downhill from the, from the ridge and here you see this wonderful infrastructure achievement. And to stabilize these mountains you cannot believe how much of concrete they had to build it is an amazing feast here. Uh, to, the earth is quite uh, unstable here, so they had to really put all these concrete fortifications and all the time they have to build more to give stability because of course it can rain very heavily in the winter and this was of course a very expensive and a very important uh, link now uh, to, from Kosovo towards Macedonia. In my time when I worked here, it was always very complicated. You see the road on the other side, it was always blocked and it was always with earth and stones and um, several weeks always in the year, it was closed, you, you see the old road. There was so much material coming in the winter rains that it was always very, very careful, a lot of trucks, because that's the main um, economic arteria towards uh, Skopje and towards uh, Thessaloniki harbor. And obviously this was really very problematic. And you see in what kind of wonderful condition this is now. It is really, you see it here, here, this is the river down there. And you see the links here. Of course, how complicated that was. And uh, from the drone photo, I found one drone photo. It's uh, really on, uh, it's, uh, we are driving on a very long bridge actually. <laughs> Below the river here, this was built in that level above the river. And the river is, below us and so the whole valley could be crossed in a kind of high bridge amazing success and I'm very proud and very happy and I congratulate Kosovo for this achievement <laughs> it was not easy to get it done <coughs> but they managed and this was very good and up there you see the old road how complicated I to explain. Yeah, I'm already yawning. I didn't eat anything the whole day because of Ramadan, <laughs> but uh, also because others didn't eat. So I have only had coffees and I had breakfast though, so let's not exaggerate. And here up the old way, here this new infrastructure achievement, fantastic. You see the river down there. And this is how the Balkan looks like. This is the European Balkans of 2020. This is really amazing and I'm very happy and congratulations uh, to uh, Kosovo for this achievement. We are heading now very soon, you will see the border and it's just I think beyond this um, last bend here and you see I think now coming already on the other side is this big uh, infrastructure achievement, the Shah cement factory which has supplied I'm sure much of the material for this uh, work here and it's uh, one of the big industrial assets of Kosovo and here is still the river and it is quite amazing infrastructure achievement in this complicated environment geographically and geologically and here you see this huge uh, concrete reinforcement again quite impressive here again the concrete reinforcement you see here the sun again setting over Macedonia and this beautiful bridge it is amazing Kosovo has really transformed itself independence 2008 on the 17th of February and then the big success of the years in the beginning was difficult in 2010-12 but now and uh, in really economically fantastic yeah. infrastructure wise fantastic yeah. And the whole country is working, developing, there's investment and it's getting much better. Of course, much needs to be done. We have another 10 years here um, 
to and uh, also inside the EU things need to be informed yeah nobody says that everything must be perfect uh, in the EU already yeah? that was um, this kind of conditionality was complete failure and we have to focus on the big important issues and here you see Shatem. the big important issues are of course that uh, the um, ideological direction of a country, the trajectory, the Western integration, the will to the West, that this is there. And that's 100% there. The rest is technicalities which we can fix together. And Kosovo will be very, very advanced in that one because it was built by help of European experts already. And now this government has really the intent and the will and the competence to work very clean and very good and get it done very fast. And why wait? Uh, nothing gets better outside. So this is already Macedonia on the other side. It must also join, and that's the NATO border. But no worries here, Kosovo is also safe uh, by K4. So there is no danger in that respect because NATO is watching us. Here we have uh, the Shah, that's Hani Elisit, yeah. Hani Hotte is the other border to Albania Motte. Han means always the Ottoman word, the Turkish word for um, basically um, rest place. And that was basically one of the border stations between the villa yet. You see this big industrial asset here, Schatzem. There was a big um, problem with uh, the privatization. But now I think it's in good hands of this Greek infrastructure company. I think it's called Titan, to my best knowledge. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure anymore. I've been some years now out, but uh, you see, things are moving here in this beautiful area. Now the last band on this trip, and you see here this amazing asset. We are in here entering the normal road again. Here on the left, you see this beautiful place and more to come. Bye.